Here is another interesting question from the stable of SSC. Now what is the question? If south is changed to north, okay, let us draw the legend. North, south, east, west, this is northeast, southeast, this is southwest, and this is northwest. North, between north and east is northeast, between east and south is southeast, between south and west is southwest, between west and north is northwest. Okay. Now what happens? If south is changed to north. South is changed to north. Then what will happen? The opposite side will become south. This will become south. And northeast is changed to west. So this is changed to west then automatically opposite side will become east. So these directions have been changed now and whatever I have put in the circle that is the revised direction. Now what is the question? What will come in the place of south? In this what will come? It is in between north and east. So this direction will be northeast. This will be southwest. So we can draw all this question. Now the question asked is what will come in the place of south? In the place of south, northeast will come. Let us verify the answer slide. The answer is northeast. Let us verify the map slide. Yes. Hence south becomes northeast. Now here you should remember very carefully you should draw the opposite directions. If you carefully draw the opposite directions then there will be no problem in identifying uh, where is which direction. So this is a typical question from SSC. We have in the later part of this presentation given you a variety of different type of questions which are, have already been asked in various SSC exams and which are likely to be asked in bank exam. As I told in the beginning, direction sense test is a very important topic and a very easy topic. If you just master the few techniques I have told you, you will be able to draw the picture and arrive at the answer. And as I told in the beginning, definite questions are coming both in prelims as well as in the mains and you will be able to take quick marks if you apply the techniques which I have told you and the steps that I have told you. If you follow those steps, it will be very easy for you to get a minimum 3 to 5 marks in either prelims or in the mains. I suggest you go to our portal bfittest.com. We have a portal, wonderful portal, all of you know, it is www.bfittest.com. Lot of questions are portal there with the answers and full explanations. I suggest you work out on all those additional questions and master this chapter so that you will be able to get good marks in any kind of competitive exam. Thank you.